Hi, we're here today in the CSU Extension Test Kitchen and with the holidays upon us, we'd like to share some high altitude baking tips with you. So the first thing we're going to discuss today is measuring liquids. So in high altitude baking, it's really important to get your liquids measured precisely. Now a common problem uh, with home bakers is that they'll come over to the sink, but it's really difficult to get an accurate measurement uh, with your liquids in that fashion. So the best way to measure your liquids is to start with your cup on a flat surface and then you bring your water to the cup. The next thing you want to do is get down to the level. Uh, the reason you want to get down to the level is because the surface of the water or any other liquid that you're using will form a concave dip in the middle. And we call that the meniscus. We're up on the sides around the edges, you'll get this uh, elevated surface of the water or fluid, which will make you think you've got more liquid in there than you do. And when you get down at the level, you can see the middle of that line is lined up with the bottom part of that concave surface. And that way you know you have a very precise and accurate measurement of your liquids. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is measuring uh, small amounts of liquid. So in this case, it's an oil. So it's common in cooking. You've got your ingredients already in the bowl. You hold your measuring spoon over and you start to pour out your liquid. But what can happen is you can get this excess spillover and that can throw off your ratios of your recipe. A more efficient way to do this is if you have your resources already prepared, you're gonna hold your spoon over a smaller vessel. And that way, if you have any spillover, it doesn't affect the overall composition of your recipe. So one of the tips for high altitude baking is to use extra large eggs. And extra large eggs provide additional moisture to your recipe, and they also add a little bit of extra protein. And that protein will provide some stability uh, in the bubbles that you're forming in your bake, and it will help support up your bake and keep it from collapsing. Flour is also important during high altitude baking. Even though there's many different types of flour, they all have different amounts of protein. Protein is important during baking because it helps hold the structure of whatever you're baking and helps prevent falling or spreading. Measuring flour accurately is important for your high altitude baking. It's common to measure one cup of flour by scooping the flour out of the bag or your container and then level it off and calling that a cup of flour. More accurately would be to spoon the flour into your measuring cup, level it off with a knife, and there's one cup of flour. Let me show you the difference. We'll measure these. The first cup of flour that was scooped weighs 360 grams. The second that we measured more accurately is 304 grams. A big difference there. That extra flour at high altitude in your baking can cause a dense baked product and it will be very dry. So it's really important to take the time to do it accurately. Some baked recipes at altitude can benefit from an increase in oven temperature. By increasing the oven temperature, it will set the structure of your baked product so that your cake may not fall and your cookies won't spread. Keep in mind, if you increase your oven temperature, your baked product will be done sooner, so check on it. And make note if this is your first time adjusting your recipe.